Hola familia, welcome back to my channel. Like always, I want to start by saying thank you guys so, so, so much for all the continuous love and support. Your girl truly appreciates it. I know we're like at 180 subscribers right now, so we're super close to getting to that 1K, and I want to keep growing with you guys. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little post notification bell. That way you are aware of any single time that I post new content on my channel. You are more than welcome. I want to, you know, have my little familia here keep growing and growing and growing. And also, with that being said, I do want to send my love, support, blessings, positive vibes to everyone out there, every single body out there, because I know the world is going through so much. Um, and I just want to try to implement that we need to send that vibe, you know, send that positivity, even though I know that I need to take that within myself as well sometimes, but I know that um, it's good to, you know, send that out as well. So I hope that everyone is staying healthy and safe out there. Uh, I love you guys. So um, I'm going to try to jump into this, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys um, the, the deal right now. This is probably going to be a lengthy video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. This is not how I'm going to be wearing my hair, so don't worry. But I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to do my hair and then finish. But I'm going to talk to you guys in the meantime because I do think that um, it's important. It's important for you guys to get to know me as a human being and as a person. Um, everything that I do, like all my other content and boxes and lifestyle and, and beauty and all that stuff, I love that. I love that because it's a hobby. It's something that I would have been doing whether I'm on camera um, or I'm not. So, you know, I, I get excited. I'm usually happy and everything. But at the end of the day, I am a person just like each and every one of you. And I feel that it's imperative to connect with people in, in different ways. And sometimes you just kind of got to give the good, the bad, the ugly accomplishments, failures. I want to share that with you guys. So I want this channel to keep growing and as it grows to become the familia, you know what I'm saying, that I really am looking for and for me to be able to be me, you know what I'm saying? I want you guys to see my personality for real. Like I'm not always happy. You know, I can be a bitch. I can be unhappy. I can be emotional. It is what it is. It's life and I'm only human. So I do want to give you guys an, an update on my life and I'm going to try to do my makeup as I go. I'm horrible at multitasking i talk very much like i'm doing right now so i'm trying to um actually i said i was going to set a timer so hold on so i don't go above a certain time but i already know it's kind of like not gonna happen but anyway um yeah i just want to talk to you guys as i do my makeup because i didn't just want to sit here and like be like oh yeah my life da -da 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 -da. that's boring so i want us to talk um and do my makeup if i forget to show you guys what product i'm using which i probably will i will link everything in the description box or if i do forget anything just holler at your girl let me know down in the comment section okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get started. I'm mean, gonna start by priming my face with this banana primer um, by Ole Henriksen uh, and I'm just gonna start talking. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of positivity a couple of like good news that I've been having and I'm really really excited about. Um, obviously there is gonna be some bad news and some stuff along the way because let's be real it was a really shitty week this week for me but it is what it is. I'm gonna start with on a positive note and the positive note is that I am officially done with my academic semester. Um, as many of you may know, I don't even know if some of you guys do know, I am an occupational therapist. I started off as an occupational therapy assistant, then I went back, I did my master's, and I became an OT. And a couple of years ago, I decided, hey, why not go ahead and do my doctorate? Um, color pop. A lot of people kind of criticized when I went back to school, because they're kind of like, you're already an OT, who cares, you don't really, you don't really need to, um, to go back to school. But I think otherwise. I think for me personally, I've been through a lot of different obstacles and part, like things in my life, and I just thought it would be really cool to have that as a personal accomplishment. You know, I think that there's no reason why not to keep growing and keep learning, and you know, why not? What what do I have to lose? You know, um, I think that it helps me. I like learning on a regular basis. I hate school. I say that all the time, but I like feeling the accomplishment that I worked really hard to get somewhere, you know? Every degree and every time I go to school, I, I just feel good about myself. I feel like I'm, I don't know, I just, I just feel good. I feel like I'm learning new things. So um, with that being said, I felt that it was important for me to have that because as you may know, I'm probably will be starting a family later on in my life. And I wanted to be able to have options, to be able to, to teach, you know, if I want to teach, teach online, especially with everything going on right now. Now is the perfect opportunity to teach. Uh, with a doctorate, I can teach, I can open up a new business. There's so many ideas that I have. Not that I'm saying that that's exactly what I'm going to do, 
but I want to be able to have options. Why not have options? You know, I, I just think it's amazing. And if I can keep working on some education, then why not? Why not? I mean, so I decided to go back to school and now I officially finished all the academic portion of it. So I'm super, super excited. Beauty Bakery for my contour. I'll put the, um, the shades and everything underneath and um, below in the description. So I thought it would be just, um, wait, what? I don't remember what I was saying. So anyway, I thought that um, it'd be great to go back and I finished and now all I have to worry about is the capstone, which is two semesters. So I do finish in April of next year, so April 2021. And at this point, I literally have to pick my topic, my research, which is obviously going to be very different now because everything has changed. With COVID, you can't really go into a lot of places and I know there's going to be a lot of ups and downs with research but I'm literally at the end I can I can taste it I can feel it it's right there and I just know that this is a big um a huge accomplishment accomplishment for me if anybody knows me from back home I, I kind of didn't do so good in high school I, I messed around a lot um that's why I had to join the military and after I joined the military I never would have thought that here I would be in school for almost 10 years of my life after so it's just bananas to me but I don't know I'm just really really excited and I wanted to share that with you guys because I did finish and I got straight A's and in two I have two weeks off and I'm going to start my capstone project so that's something that I thought you guys should know um um, now let's get into a little bit of real life, some real life shit that everybody wants to know. And I know that this is, I'm going to prime my eyelids, um, this is something that everybody wants to know around me and it's Jesse. when are you going to have a baby? When are you going to start a family? And the answer to that is not yet. And the only reason is not because I don't want to, but because it has not happened for us. Um, I have been married for a little over three years, actually three and a half years now. Um, I have an awesome husband. He's super supportive and loving. Like I can't complain about anything in this video that has to do with family, my friends, or my husband, or my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Cause they have been nothing but loving and supportive. And I just, I just, I can't, I can't lose in that field. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm always winning right there, which is great. But um, unfortunately, you know, as you get older, you start to experience certain things. And I guess biologically it's true. You start to get in your 30s and I guess I don't know what happens. Your body just doesn't react the same. And we have been trying to get pregnant for, I don't know, three and a half years, <laughs> basically since I got married. And it's been a struggle, guys. I don't want to get too much in depth to, with this because I actually will be touching up. I'm actually making a video about my whole fertility journey. And there I will literally go in depth. I've been documenting and taking videos and everything so I'm gonna bake with a uh, beauty bakery and so I'm going to go ahead I'm sorry not bake sit <laughs> so I don't know it's just been crazy it's been a journey and I'm trying to just kind of be like okay it's whatever but it's been really shitty um we we tried normally we tried doing like the regular just trying fertility ovulation I went on um clomid a couple of times which is obviously like ovulation medication I tried a whole bunch of different things and then finally they're like, okay, homegirl, you're not getting any younger. We need to go ahead and send your ass to a fertility specialist. And I went to the fertility speci specialist back in January and we were about to start a process of IUI, which if you don't know, is intrauterine insemination. I can't even speak. I can never speak. Intrauterine insemination. So basically, I'm a turkey. They literally take the semen. They bring it up all the way in there in like through like a little catheter thing you know um and they inject it directly during the time of your ovulation the thing is during these time frames you are on a lot of medications uh you're doing shots you're doing ultrasounds it's just like a lot of ups and downs if anybody has been going through this as well i'm sure they can relate and i know some people don't like to talk about it i didn't even think i wanted to talk about it but i started thinking about it and i was like why not like it's life and it happens and i know so many people that might take something from this you know so it's been really shitty honestly just trying to figure all everything out and we've been failing a couple of times at the insemination process we went we've done it three times already and every single time there's been an issue and when i say an issue oh this is my um gas princess palette for a little bit of bronzer and contour so um yeah it's been an issue the first time basically it didn't work second time didn't it is if it's not the, that it didn't work my menstrual cycle doesn't come the next month and now the biggest problem is that they found a large cyst I was literally supposed to get the procedure redone again last week and I went in and they did an ultrasound and they were like nope sorry we got to put you on hold because you have a very large cyst 
And if this large cyst, if you continue to take all the hormones and the medication that you're on, the cyst could either rupture or it's going to get too big to the point where like the procedure's not gonna work anyway. So they were like, we're gonna have to put everything on hold and we gotta shrink this bad boy. So of course I'm like, all right, cool. You know, we'll shrink it. But then they tell me that I have to be on birth control to shrink it. And my mind was like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. My hormones have already been up and down. I've gained weight. I felt like I've been emotional lately. I just been like, I don't know. It's just been insane. So I kind of, I know, I got really bummed. And I was like, damn, man, like now I got to put everything on hold. And it's not even like I could possibly get pregnant at home, like on our own, because now I'm birth control. <laughs> I'm like so upset. About, I'm still upset about it. And now I'm birth control. I'm nauseous. I haven't been on birth control for a long, long time. So I don't know, man. I've been kind of bummed about that, but it's life. It's a journey. And like I said, I am documenting each step of the way. So one day I can actually make a video focusing completely on my fertility journey. And I'm hoping that like as we grow here, um, you know, that you guys will be a part of it and be able to see the journey, support it, and give any input. Like if you guys have any suggestions or advice or, you know, you guys want to talk about anything, like literally feel free to comment down below. I'm not the type of person that's not going to talk about something because I feel some type of way. Like, like I said, it's life and I want to connect with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and use my Alamar Cosmetics um, deepener just to deepen out the little contour on the ends. So, yeah, man. So, that's that. Um, so, just kind of pushing forward. It's all we can do at this moment. Staying positive. Trying to lose a little bit of weight. I started, like, a little health, care, a health kick journey with my husband. So, we've been trying to, like, work out and just eat healthier and eat better. Oh, my God. My eyebrows. Hold up. Let me go win. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't talk in the makeup at the same time. So, anyway. Yeah, guys. I don't know. It's, it is what it is. But, anyway. Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much that. So it kind of gets annoying when people are like, when the baby's coming? Are you pregnant yet? What's happening? I'm just like, I know. I'm just saying, like, I know. I know. I get it. Um, and I want children, but if it's not, if the opportunity doesn't happen for us, then there's other options. There's always adoption or there's IVF, which we'll cross that when we get there. So we're going to keep trying and just um, praying for the best. So you guys send me good vibes. All right. So moving on to some more negative, um, I guess you could say stuff going on in my life as an update is my job, guys. So my job. I have been working, well before COVID, I was working three different jobs. I was working in a skilled nursing facility, basically working occupational therapy with like older geriatrics, like older people, older adults. Um, I was also working in hippotherapy, which is basically occupational therapy with all types of population on horses. So you use horses as a therapeutic um, activity, as an exercise. It's amazing. It's a great thing. It's just hot as hell down here in Florida. But anyway, I was doing that and I was also seeing a little home a, um, a home health boy who is autistic and I worked working with him a couple of days a week. So when COVID hit, a lot of things changed. You know, my job um, basically took half of the building and they turned it into a full COVID unit and they basically told us, you guys cannot work anywhere else. Um, it was very abrupt and they were kind of like, do you want to stay here? Do you not want to stay here? What do you guys want to do? Of course, we all got to work, and when you let us know six days before then, we're going to we're gonna work, you know? But it was unfortunate. I had to let go of a couple of my other jobs, and I wanted to also be safe as well. So I started working this COVID unit, and let me tell you, like, it's sad. And I know that, like, a lot of people that are in healthcare, you get used to it. You get used to seeing and hearing people dying, people getting sick, people getting older. It's upsetting because when I first started, and even as a student, I would cry. I'd go home and cry. I would cry at work. Um, but you you start to get used to it, and it's kind of messed up. You shouldn't never get used to it, but it is what it is. And I started kind of getting sad, and I just felt at work that we were going in there. Now, I will say, we were never working full hours, you know what I'm saying, like eight hours a day, but we're still in full gear in these rooms that are hot. It's a stressful environment, and not only that, but we started working with people who are very sick people who we've seen and known for a long time then we started hearing of people on the other side that that you know that lived there that started passing away and some of these people are amazing or were amazing and let me tell you i would go home sometimes and kind of suck it up at work because you have to but i would cry and i would tear up and i would I, these people are human beings and whether they're older or not older or whatever they still 
love, they need love, they need affection, and I felt like people started passing away and nobody really gave a shit. You know what I'm saying? People were just kind of like, oh no, so-and-so died, so-and-so died. And it's kind of crazy when it just becomes the norm. It's, it's honestly, it's really sad. But um, aside from that, um, I don't know, I just kind of got a little bit upset about that and nobody really was there like out of all like our supervision and stuff like that. Okay, Dominique Cosmetics, I love this palette by the way. Nobody was really there, you know what I'm saying? To be like, hey, are you guys okay? Like we know you have a lot of long-term people who are very sick right now. How are you guys holding up? What's going on? Do you guys eat anything? It was kind of like, okay, cool, COVID unit, go work and, and that's it. And I understand, I do understand that it is a business and it's our job, but that's exactly what I learned is exactly that it's a business. Um, care sometimes is not even that important as it is to make sure that you're making money that you're making numbers that you're there all the time like it was more important for us to try to be there longer than it was for for me to actually be ethical and sometimes for me I have a really hard time with that when it comes to ethical and um, and business I know one day I'll probably have my own business and I'll think differently, but as of right now, that's not the way I think and I have a very big mouth and sometimes I do come off a little bit strong and there's been situations where I have gotten, you know, into altercations with some people on things that I've seen and I didn't agree with and it happens, you know, but um, to make that story short, it kind of sucks because at the end of the day, I do love my job and I love my coworkers. I know I'm going to miss everyone there. And I say miss everyone because I walked into work on Friday, which is actually yesterday, and I pretty much got laid off. And I got laid off for the reason that they were doing cutbacks. And as the day progressed, I mean, I left there and I'm not going to lie. I was shocked and I was upset and I was like, man, my people, my, you know what I'm saying? I, I was really upset. I felt some type of way for real. But I was just upset. But as the day progressed, I was like, what the heck? So yeah, guys, there was really no cutbacks like that. Um, I seriously feel like it was targeted towards me um, because I have, you know, spoken my voice and said a couple of things in the past and I feel like people didn't really like it. And it is what it is, you know? I just really, really wish that when I got called into the office yesterday or whatever, that they would have been like, you know what, Jess? Right now, we have to build a team of people who are ready to be here all day, every day, if needed, who are gonna pick up all these patients, who are gonna see them as much as they can, who, like, I'm sorry, but it's still, at the end of the day, a COVID unit. It's tiring, it's hot. Like, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna give it all I got, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, I'm gonna do my job, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna keep sitting there and waiting and waiting, I'm not gonna do that. So, I really, really wish that it would have been presented to me differently, where it would have been like, hey, you know what, Jess, like, we just don't think that you're the right fit right now, maybe a, in a different time, but it was kind of presented that they were doing cutbacks and come to find out there's no cutbacks. So that really kind of hurt me and I started to realize that, you know what, it wasn't about the cutbacks because like I said, there's none, but it's more about me and my person and the fact that, I don't know, that I speak up and sometimes some people don't like that and that's understandable, but I'd much rather somebody tell me the straight up truth than to try to tell me something and and that's it. So anyway guys, I don't want to keep dwelling because I can go on this forever and ever because obviously I'm still kind of hurt and annoyed by it. But it's uh, it's my life, so I'm telling you guys my update. So I did get laid off yesterday, so I am officially jobless. Um, so everything that happens, I guess, happens for a reason. If you would have said this to me yesterday, I'd probably have been like, yeah, okay. But it's the truth. Thankfully, I have, like I said, a very supportive support system as far as my family goes and as far as my husband goes. And they were kind of like, just take this as a blessing. Um, better things to come. So I decided, oh, and one of the reasons why I kind of was stuck there too is because working in that COVID unit, you couldn't take any leave, you couldn't travel, you couldn't do anything really. Um, obviously, because you're working with COVID patients, so it's understandable, but um, I was like, shoot, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. I'm literally gonna book a flight and go home. And home is New York. So I'm coming home, guys. I'm gonna, I decided to just book a flight and take some time to be home um, with my parents, with my brothers that are gonna be in town, with my niece, um, my aunt, like every, literally, grandmas, everyone is gonna be there and just kinda focus on me, me you know, do things that, that make me happy, see my girlfriends, you know, um, be me again, you know, sometimes, especially with everything going on, you need to live your life, guys, like, at the end of the day, I know we all gotta work, I know we need money, 
I know all that stuff, but you need your mental health and you need to live your life. If anything that I've learned during this whole entire pandemic is that you just never know what's going to happen. People can die at young, older. It can, you, you can be fine one day, sick, sick the next. You just never, ever know. So as long as you're being cautious and just doing things as best as you can right now, you know, live your life. Why, why not? So I decided to book my flight and I leave in a couple of days. I'm going to be there for a little while just to kind of regroup just see how everything is check on my family i'll make some videos for you guys so if you guys do want to see some videos anything on long island new york anything just let me know because i'll be there and um and i'm excited i'm excited to just kind of walk away from here for a little bit um and just you know i don't want to say find myself that's cheesy but you know literally just be happier and i think that maybe this was a blessing in disguise i'm all over the place with my makeup i'm gonna use a little blush from ColourPop. All right, guys, I'm just trying to catch up a little bit with my makeup because, like I said, I can't multitask everything. So I'm trying to just uh, stick it out a little bit. So, yeah, basically, that's what's been going on. So I just, um, I don't know, I'm, like, thankful. I'm thankful for having the support and the love of the people who are here for me. You know, like I said, like, my family and everything. And I, you know, I can't even complain. It's, um, it's pretty good. So, yeah, I don't know. I just want to focus on right now on positivity. And I know, like I said, that's kind of cliche. It's like, say positive, say positive. Yeah, but you're not going to really get that vibe if you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to receive that if you don't try to implement it, you know? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um. Okay, let me go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, hmm. I think I'm going to try to put, some, you know what? Should I put lashes on? Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on. So I'm going to pause you guys really well, all right, guys, I went ahead and I had to get off the video to put my lashes on. Even still, they're mad crooked. I already know. I suck at them. That's why I'm doing them on camera with you guys. But in the meantime, when I did get offline, I also did go ahead and do my crease, my waterline with this color pop color, as well to kind of make that little turquoise color pop. I will find out the color in this and I'll link it down below. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of highlight. Um, this is a Milani one, Candle Light. I'm going to kind of mix the three colors. So, I felt like I started getting a little you know ahead of myself here towards the end so i do want to bring it back down to some happiness so i want to talk about things to come for me good things and on this channel so like i said since i will be in new york i will be trying to post maybe something a little bit more different you know maybe some vlogs i don't know let me know what you guys think i know a lot of people that ask me if i'm going to do vlogs and i don't really think about them because i always feel like people don't like them but some people do. So let me know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, my birthday is September 21st. So I'm super excited about that. Once I come back home, I'm going to lie my lips with color pop color. Um, once I come back home, I'm going to book something else. I don't try to not book something else, but try to do like a little getaway for my birthday. We might go to um, Orlando. I'm not sure yet. But if I do, I'll bring you guys with me as well. Just do a little bit of things that make me happy um obviously within my means um so i have a couple of little things and trips and things planned um i just i don't know i'm kind of excited for what's to come and of course i'm coming back to job hunts you know to start looking at things start planning for my future start thinking of different things i know i might not land the thing that i whatever i want right away but all in due time i don't even know if i'm gonna be in florida for the rest of my life so i'm just gonna like keep doing me you know um oh Oh my god guys it smells amazing this is by dominique cosmetics this is the creamer and this one is the um lava it's from the collection that i just put on my eyes and oh my god it's amazing let me go ahead and put that one here let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see from me let me know what you guys think about this video it's okay to to have like i said like i can't get mad at people for having to say what they gotta say when i say what i gotta say so let's uh that's a pretty combo i kind of like it all right, last but not least, I'm going to hit up my hair. But yeah, let's, um, let's, I don't know, try to grow together. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with everything. Hold on. Morphe spray. I think that's it. I hope I didn't miss anything. I mean, I feel like I have a solid amount of freaking makeup on my face, so I'm pretty sure I'm good. All right, I am 
back, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. I decided to straighten my hair instead of curl it. I have to leave soon, so I didn't want to like take too much time to curl it. But um, I'm loving this brush. If you haven't seen a video on it yet, I, I will link the thing below because I really, really like it. Like I took like five minutes just to kind of get it this straight, and it just looks really silky and smooth. So I really like it. But anyway, um. All right, guys, I'm going to start closing out this video. Obviously, I feel like I've talked and I've rambled so much. I don't want you guys to think that I was sitting here trying to, like, complain or bitch or anything. I literally just want to share my life with you guys. I want to be transparent. I want to share the, the accomplishments, the fails, the, the wins, everything here on this channel. I want you guys to connect. And let me know what you guys think. If you guys do like seeing this kind of content, I'm sorry I was all over the place. This is my first time, and I had so much to talk about. But I wanted to catch you guys up. Um, many good things to come. Let me know if you guys want to see any future content, what you guys want to see. The holidays are around the corner, so I want to bring some special things to you guys then. And we're so close to that 1K. So if you are not part of my familia here, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me your input. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Remember to take care of your mental. Take care of your health. Just um, do what you got to do to be happy. Um, everything's going to work out. And I know I say that, and I need to do that myself. And that's what I'm working on. So um, I love you guys so much. Muchas gracias. Don't forget to subscribe. Muchísimas gracias. Mwah. Ciao.